my name is Shauna Bernardin and I'm here with Global Groomers. And we are dedicating this year to 52 free videos for you guys. And I just can't even thank you guys enough. We've only been posting for two and a half days and we're already up to 117 subscribers. Thank you guys. And today, this video is going to be out for Marcia Strong in Ontario. She requested for us to do a foot trimming video and how to do the pads. And I chose this guy because he has super long slippers right now. He's actually a Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever, which is a Canadian breed. I'm very, very Canadian. So before he even has a bath, what I'm gonna do, and you guys can use this on golden retrievers, all kinds of dogs that are a double coated breed, before they go in the bath, I'm just gonna use this classic wide knife, okay? And all we're doing is we're just gonna pull the skin and we're gonna drag out any extra loose hair. You wanna do this while it's dirty. And I'm working in about a two inch spot. So I'm gonna go through the whole dog with that and do that. And then the other thing, I really like these my pooch double-sided slickers for especially on these guys. So I just run a quick brush before he even goes through the bathtub because it takes out all this extra hair. And I find that you get a much nicer finish. So I'll come back after and I'll show you guys uh, Twinkle Toes. So we spent a few minutes taking out the extra loose undercoat on him. The other thing that I'm going to do before he goes into the bathtub is I'm going to cut his nails. I also had a request for a video, so this one is for Pam Jordan. She wanted to know how to cut nails. And I really have to tell you guys that nail cutting can be very alarming. What I've learned over the years is it really takes a bit of practice, a bit of confidence. So hopefully I'm just going to try and slow it down as much as I can for you guys. I like to stand on the back side of them especially on a large dog. I find that you, you can keep your eye on them first. This guy has really nice toenails to look at because you can see exactly where it needs to be cut. So the white ones are definitely easier for you to learn on. I don't like to cut it on a straight angle. I wanna cut it on a little tiny bit of an angle. And then you can see right when you're to the quick, there's a little line there. So you wanna go to the quick without quicking them. Very good. And I always try to give them a little bit of love when they're being good like that. I hope those little tips help you. Be patient. Doing nails is difficult. I'm back with Joey, he's Nova Scotia deck tiller. You can see he's been all bathed and blow dried and we got all the extra hair out of him. One of my number one requests that I get is actually doing my little twinkle toes. So that's just like a little scissor foot. This would be, uh, you could use this on a golden, Collie, Sheltie, tons of different breeds. So I always go about it the same way. I'm gonna use my Wall Bravera and I'm gonna clear his pads on a 30 blade. And I'm just gonna stand behind him. And you can see how hairy his little slippers are. So I'm just gonna clear the bottom of the pad first. I'm not worried about going in. Right now I'm just getting all this extra hair up. This is really gonna help you guys get those cute little twinkle toes. Just a word of caution, you need to be real careful that you're not breaking into the top of the foot on both sides. So go on the air of caution on those two sides of the feet. Remember, you're gonna make mistakes. And when you do, you'll be like, oh, that's what she was talking about, okay? So I'm just gonna clear the bottom of the foot. I'm gonna show you a front foot and a back foot. I always go about it the exact same way. So I take my little curved scissors and brush it straight down. I've already done his nails and his pads. And now I'm just gonna take these curved scissors and I'm gonna go right around the edge of the foot, as close as I can possibly get. But I don't want to expose his toes. I wanna to go to the toenail without exposing the toenail. Okay. Now these guys are meant to have like a little cat shaped foot. A lot of people just take the straight scissors now and they sh just mow it off or a pair of straights. I always do this part and I do it with love every time. So I'm going to take my little curved scissor or thinning shears, sorry, and I'm going to start blending it, but I make it in a little arch. I don't want to just scissor it I straight. I want to use these thinning shears and I want to work in a little arch. I definitely want, don't want to take it off flat. So I'm kind of going around in a little circle. Then I'm going to put the weight back down on the foot. And I stand behind him now, 
and I'm just continuing my line. I've already created a line underneath. Now I'm just neatening them up. A lot of times people say to me, oh, it's just commercial drumming. But I honestly believe that this is the only way to do it. I, I never take the straight scissors. I don't feel like it takes me any longer to do my little twinkle toes. And people ask me about these little scissor feet all the time. So we're going to just do the back foot now. This is the same, same thing. We're just going to brush it straight down. And I'm just going to clear the bottom of his foot with the curved scissors. I'm not going into the top of the foot. We're making sure that our nails are done and our pads are done and we're working on clean hair every time. Okay, we've created a line on the bottom. Brush it straight down, the weight is back down. You've already got a line created, so now you're just following it around. Then I'm gonna brush it up and I'm gonna work in an angle with my thinning shears. I'm not cutting it off flat. I want to think of a cat shaped foot. Put the foot back down and just finish detailing it around. We're going to scissor up his other two feet and we'll be right So, the one thing you need to notice is that the Nova Scotia duck toller is left fairly natural. Of course, that's personal preference for the owner, but this owner prefers to have him just look the way he should. So the other one quick trick I want to give you guys, and this is a great trick, you can use it on setters, golden retrievers. Right now his tail is touching the ground, and well that's a little bit too long. So if you just stand behind them and on an angle, and bring my fingers down on an angle, I want to go two just slightly below the hawk, slightly below. I'm going to raise it up, I'm just going to use my thinning shears now, and I'm on an angle, and I'm just taking my thinning shears right now. You definitely do not want to do this with the straight scissors. You want it to be natural looking. Okay, now if I just pull that tail out, and that will work on a ton of different breeds for you guys. And now I just comb it down, there's just a couple of little stray hairs that I have to pick up. And that's a great little tail trick. So we're at the end of our demonstration on the Nova Scotia Duck Toller today. Really made me very, very happy to give you one of five Canadian breeds. This is a Canadian born and raised breed. I love this breed. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the little twinkle toes. I hope you guys got some good tips. Uh, today, that video, this video is actually going out to Marcia Strong. That's my first request. So please, you guys, I want you to get involved. This is all about you guys, giving you guys what you want the most. If you're enjoying these videos, please like us, then share and subscribe. I can't wait to give you guys more tips. Have a great day.